Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dave Unger. I'm a senior solutions architect with Blue Chip Tech, a value-added reseller and system integrator based in Silicon Valley. This is the first installment in our video series on software-defined networking that works, featuring Contrail from Juniper Networks. Episode 1, Contrail Basics. In this episode, we'll be talking about what Contrail is, where Contrail fits into data center networks, and what you can do with Contrail. Let's dive in. So, what is Contrail? Contrail is software. Software that's available in two forms. Open source software, officially known as Open Contrail. You can download the source code from GitHub and modify, compile, and use it yourself almost any way you want. Contrail is published under the Apache 2.0 license, which gives you a lot of freedom for what you can do with the software. Contrail is also available as commercial software distributed by Juniper Networks and packaged up as either Contrail Networking or Contrail Cloud. The distinctions between the two commercial packages aren't important for the purposes of today's discussion. Being software, Contrail needs to run somewhere. A lot of network software runs on specialized hardware, such as routers, switches, and firewalls. Contrail, by contrast, is x86 software that runs on commodity server hardware. If you just want to kick the tires, you can run Contrail inside of a single virtual machine or on one physical server. Most typically, people run Contrail controller software on a set of three physical servers. That's because you need at least three separate servers in order to make Contrail highly available. And that's just for the controller pieces. In Juniper parlance, those servers are the control plane for Contrail. You'll also need at least two other servers to run the pieces of Contrail that do the work of operating networks and moving packets around. In Juniper parlance, that's the data plan. Bottom line, you need at least five physical servers to power a highly available Contrail environment. Contrail is software. It runs on commodity x86 servers. But what is it? Contrail is a virtual networking controller. Once you've got it running on some servers, you can use it either as the control plane and data plane for virtual networks, as a configuration tool to manage physical network hardware, or both. Let's dig more into using Contrail as the control plane and data plane for virtual networks. That's the primary use case I see folks looking into. And once we're clear on what that entails, it'll be a lot easier for me to explain why controlling the configuration of physical networks might be interesting or necessary. Contrail can power virtual networks for both OpenStack and VMware. In either case, the three Contrail controller servers provide the control plane for the virtual network. They're where you would go to create new networks, define network policies, and set the rules for how networks either do or don't interact. A virtual router component then runs on each hypervisor host and functions as the data plane. At this point, it might help if we pause for a moment to identify some of the most commonly used alternatives to Contrail. If you've heard of them or looked into them, it might give you more context for where Contrail fits into data center architectures. In an OpenStack environment, Contrail plugs into Neutron. Alternatives to Contrail for OpenStack include using vanilla Neutron, VMware NSX, PlumGrid IOVisor, and Mitakura MetaNet. In a vSphere environment, alternatives to Contrail include vanilla distributed virtual switches and, once again, NSX, IOVisor, and MetaNet. What all of these have in common is that they focus on controlling how virtual networks are created, modified, or torn down, and on how virtual machines communicate with one another across multiple hypervisor hosts. At the advanced end of things, it's possible to spin up a whole environment by creating a new virtual network and launching a set of virtual machines. If more virtual machines get spun up later, they get added to the same network, regardless of which hypervisor host they run on. And at the very advanced end of things, the virtual network controller can also provide additional functionality like load balancing as a service, network address translation, firewall services, or packet capture and analysis. Contrail can be used to control top of rack switches using the Open Virtual Switch database protocol. That's useful for integration of a virtual environment with external physical infrastructure. Examples include physical network hardware like load balancers, firewalls, intrusion prevention systems, network taps, you name it. It can also include NAS, block, or object storage devices, or physical servers running important applications. Databases are by far the most common example of that, whether they're running Oracle, MySQL, MongoDB, or something else. Essentially, anything outside of OpenStack or vSphere. For connectivity outside of the virtualized environment, you've got the option of either extending Contrail to talk to your top rack switches so that it can adjust the configurations on the fly, or doing it yourself by hand. If there isn't much going on, you'll likely stick with manual configuration. 
if there are enough changes to make automation worthwhile. Contrail supports that. In this episode, I was just looking to introduce some Contrail concepts to give you context for future episodes. I've already covered quite a lot, so let's recap. Contrail is software. Open Contrail is completely open source. Contrail Networking and Contrail Cloud are Juniper's commercial distributions. Contrail runs on commodity servers. You only need a single physical server or virtual machine to kick the tires. For anything more serious, you'll need at least five physical servers. Contrail provides the control plane and data plane for OpenStack and vSphere virtual networks. Contrail can also manage the configurations of physical top of rack switches. That's it for this installment. Again, my name is Dave Unger, and I work for Blue Chip Tech as a senior solutions architect. Please email me with any questions or comments at dunger at bluechiptech.com or reach out to me on Twitter at bctdebut. You can also get a hold of the larger team by emailing bct-sales at bluechiptech.com or on Twitter at bluechiptech. Meanwhile, you're welcome to download a copy of the slide deck from SlideShare at the URL you see on the screen. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.